Hey y'all, welcome back to Rolling Stone. So today is a very exciting video. I know you guys, I'm always talking about how exciting my video is gonna be. But this one is, I mean, you can tell by the title, by the pictures on the thumbnail, my new smile. Ah! <laughs> so I'm so excited about this video because this is something that I've wanted for a while, it was to get veneers. Um, and I was finally able to get them a few days ago and I wanted to make a video for you guys to let you know about the process, the, the ins and outs of uh, my experience, the pros, the cons, uh, and just everything about my whole experience from start to finish before I actually got them done. Of course, the first thing we go to is YouTube because we want to see videos about, you know, has other people gotten it done, what it was like so forth and so on and I didn't really see any videos like an in-depth video of someone getting like the full mouth done like mine so I was like okay yeah I definitely want to get this video out here for you guys who um, were interested in getting it done or just kind of wanted to know about it I'm gonna let you guys know I'm here for y'all so yeah um, I did vlog some of it so I'll throw in some clips um, of me actually at the dentist office and you know you guys will see so let me jump right into it okay so firstly i want to let you guys know exactly what this is called these are composite veneers so there are different type of veneers they have the porcelain veneers which is probably the most popular type of veneers that you guys have heard of um, probably the more mainstream which are very expensive they typically cost around 15 to 20 grand, you know, depending on what all um, you get done. And with teeth, it's kind of hard to gauge the price because what one person pays, another person won't pay, even if you go to the same doctor, because everybody's teeth isn't the same. You might need more work. You might need cavity work. You might need... Who knows how, what shape your teeth are in, but typically those cost that, which the porcelain veneers are made of porcelain and they are, uh, they last a lifetime. Um, they don't really stain as bad and you know, there's a lot, a few more pros to getting the porcelain than these. So what I have is composite veneers. Mine don't last as long. Mine are probably about 10 years, depending on how you take care of it. It definitely can last longer or it definitely can last way less of uh, time. It could last five years, seven, 10, you know, it just depends on how well you take care of it. So yeah, they're called composite veneers, which um, I did do a little interview with the uh, dentist and he's going to explain to you um, what these are exactly the material. So yeah. So this is the doctor here, hey. Dr. Price, who's giving me this amazing smile. So basically he's just going to um, give you his info and let you guys know exactly what he did. So yeah, um, my name is Dr. Anthony Price. I'm located here in Memphis, Tennessee, and I actually specialize in composite veneers, one day smile transformations uh today we just finished up her smile we you know um just hooked up with some nice composite veneers they look really good we didn't shave her teeth down no pain no needles none of that just beautiful teeth um and basically what it is is a composite resin material that's individually sculpted on each tooth i make it look good and we kind of talk about style she wanted to go with the hollywood style which is basically even straight across kind of like Nicki minaj and uh yep. cardi b, cardi b. <laughs> yeah that's what people want these days but yeah. uh we were able to accomplish that and i'm really happy i think it turned out great man it took about what five to six hours mm -hmm. she did a really good job we yeah. had to take a few breaks uh, but hey, I'm very pleased with the result and it looks great. I'm glad you came down to Memphis and uh, my office is welcome to anybody to come down and get their teeth hooked up. Definitely. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, you guys, I'm going to put his uh, website information and his Instagram info, um, a link to it in, in the description box. Yeah. So you guys check that out if you want more info to, um, to be able to visit Dr. Price. Um, the pros of, the, of having these is, of course, the look. You know, you get a beautiful smile, white smile, um, straight smile. Um, you get the look of porcelain veneers, but for not as much. So um, for this, I got I got 10 at the top and 10 at the bottom. And it's going to cost you probably with the doctor that I went to. It, it ranges, you guys. When you Google it, some, some doctors can char charge from 200 a tooth on up to like 450 a tooth it depends but for 10 top 10 bottom mine was about five you know like around the five grand range which i feel like is not bad to have a smile this beautiful and to last that amount of time i think that's an awesome price um and it took about six hours for the entire process 
Um, no shaving the teeth. He didn't shave my teeth. He didn't use any needles. There was no pain. It lasts a decent amount of time for what I was interested in. I was okay with it. So um, some of the cons are you definitely, if you're not a person that flosses every time you eat or two, three times a day, that's, that's one of the things. So I only floss like once every couple of days or as needed. So one thing with these is because your teeth are closer together. Um, well, depending on how your teeth are. Um, you, if you guys noticed, my teeth were more spaced apart. So I really didn't get food stuck in between my teeth as much. But with these, you definitely need to floss after you eat. So I keep those little floss sticks in my purse. Um, it feels a little different after you get it done. So, you know, we're used to our teeth feeling a certain way. So any little micro millimeter of something off with your teeth, a little crumb, you're going to feel it. So even though he did them very thin and natural as far as how it's laying, like when I close my mouth, my mouth looks regular. My mouth isn't like, I'm not trying to like cover the teeth. I know some people you see with veneers, it feels like they're trying to cover their teeth. They can't really close their mouth. I don't have any of that. He did it very, very sleek, um, very thin. Um, but I can definitely tell there's something different. And they say it takes about a week or two to just to completely get used to it. Um, just because it's, you know, it's something different on top of my mouth. It feels a little different. Um, not bad, not uncomfortable. Like I said, didn't have any pain, didn't have to take any pain pills. Um, when I eat, it feels a little little bit different only because there's something different on my teeth so it's gonna feel a little off but it's not like annoying it's not like to the point where like forget it I don't even want to eat it's just like you know micro nothing major another thing that's different for me is with these if you use hard or medium you're gonna have to switch to soft toothbrushes um just because you don't want anything abrasive to to you know, just something abrasive to scratch them up. So you're gonna, you need to use a really soft toothbrush when brushing your teeth. And then another thing about, um, I'm gonna give you guys the information to my specific doctor. Um, but one thing that was a little different than typically when you go to a dentist is that he's cash only, you guys. And he's in Memphis, I live in Texas. So I had to fly out to Memphis and um, it's cat, you know, cash. You could probably use your debit card or bring cash, but um, some people feel uncomfortable carrying that much cash on them. Or you could just bring your debit card. But he doesn't accept care credit, at least at the, this time. He doesn't accept care credit. Usually, insurance won't cover cosmetic dentistry anyway, but it's cash only. So that's something you're gonna have to keep in mind if you really want these done. You're gonna have to, you know, shell out the cash for them. So. Another question that some people have been asking me on social media is like, did you have to get braces to straighten your teeth? No, I didn't have to get braces. He literally works with what you have. So however your teeth are, he's going to cover them with this composite resin material and shape them to your teeth to look perfect. So there's not going to be any, like I said, shaving down your teeth or taking your teeth out or putting braces on, straightening, none of that. He's just going to cover it, make them straight. He's an artist, you guys, as you can see, like I'm going to put his Instagram information in my description box so you guys can see his before and after pictures on Instagram, which he's big on social media. And yeah, so he just, he does his thing. He shapes them literally to perfection. Okay, so I'm going to go into telling you guys about my experience. You know some of the pros and cons. Um, so as far as my experience, how it went was, like I said, I live in Houston. Um, I found this doctor on Instagram. I've been following him for a long time now. I, his work is amazing. And I was just like, okay, when I, I did a little bit more research, not a whole lot. I don't get obsessive over things. Like if it's something I really like, a car, uh, 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 whatever, camera, it, it could be expensive um, items or whatever. But if I see it and I really like it and I can afford it or I can save for it, um, I go ahead and get it. I do a little bit of research on it. And then, you know, if it seems like a good deal, then I'll go for it. So basically saw him on Instagram, been following him a while. I'm like, okay, you know, his work looks great. He's a dentist you know, I eventually want to get this done. So um, from there, I went to his website. When you go to his website, um, 
to try to, that he does a, a, a consultation online. The website is going to have you take a picture with your phone of like front, side, side, like each side of your mouth and upload it from your phone. From there, you're going to e get an email back. He's going to let you know whether he can do it or not, whether you're a candidate for these and how much it's going to cost. So everybody cannot get these. Like for instance, if you have missing teeth, keep in mind, you're going to get 10 top and 10 bottom. So if you have missing teeth of these 10 or these 10, he can't cover them because you don't have anything to cover. So he's going to let you know if you're a candidate to get it done and how much it's going to cost. It's just that simple. And from there, you're going to make an appointment, which is $500 to book your appointment, which that $500 goes towards uh, the cost of uh, your procedure. Um, and then from there, you um, you book your appointment. And this doctor is busy and popular. So when I went to book my appointment, I was thinking, okay, I can get it done next week or the week after. No, you're going to have to book like a month or two out. Um, it might be a little longer than that, but I think it's like a month or two out. So he stays booked up for at least like a month or two. So you can just, it's going to have dates that's available and you can just pay your $500 and just book the earliest date um, for you or whatever date you're thinking about getting it done. So that's how that went. So I booked the appointment. Um, from there, uh, when it was time for my appointment, uh, we ended up having like, that's when the snowstorm or the winter storm came to Houston and all the flights were canceled. So I missed my appointment. Um, so I, I emailed him to let him know, hey, I, I need to push the appointment back, which I was kind of nervous because keep in mind, he stays booked out months ahead of time. So I'm like, crap, I'm not gonna be able to get it done. Well, anyway, he booked me, he emailed me back and let me know, hey, you can come next for next Friday, which was a week later. And I was like, great, you know, I can I can get it done because I was nervous about that. So he emailed me back and I was like, OK, so the, the airlines worked with me. And so I did that. I ended up going the next week. So keep in mind, you guys, that uh, the day of your appointment, usually the appointments are going to be in the morning. Um after you get them done, there's a required next day follow-up appointment. So whenever you fly out to him, you're going to have to stay, come like the night before if your appointment is early in the morning. And so you're going to stay that night. And then the following night after you get it done, you're going to have to stay that night as well because you have a follow-up appointment the next day. Being that my appointment was on Friday, I booked um, my hotel for Thursday night, got them done on Friday. Stayed at the hotel again Friday night and then went back on Saturday for my follow-up appointment. And then my flight flew out on Saturday evening at like 6.30 p.m. So worked out great. Just had to stay for two nights. So wasn't that big of a deal. Another thing that um, I wanted to let you guys know is when contacting a doctor, this is something that I experienced myself and um, that I've seen people say on social media is they don't really answer the phone as much. So I know one of his phone numbers is like a call center. And when I left messages, I really didn't get a call back. And then one phone number, I think I'm not sure if it's to the office or not, but I mean, I called several times. I never got an answer. I never got a call back. So that's one of the cons about this specific doctor. Um, he is very professional and very nice. The staff is awesome. I'm going to let you know that like right off the bat. When you get there, you're going to, you are going to love the staff, point blank, period. And the doctor, you know, very friendly, very professional. Um, but they don't really answer the phone. And I told him about that. That's another thing. And I saw people were leaving comments. So when I actually got in contact with him to see about moving that date, I emailed as well but I contacted him through DM on Instagram and he DM'd me right back so that's one thing that you guys might want to keep in mind if you want to book this specific uh, doctor if you don't get a call back or a response to an email which usually he will email you back but if you don't try DMing him on um, Instagram and then you're usually going to get a re reply right back but other than that everything was you know, legit. Everything was very professional and I was pleased. It wasn't that huge, big of a deal because I'm a social media person, but I know some people who are not just on social media as much. I know that can kind of make you nervous. So um, as far as the specific style of teeth I got, I got what you call the Hollywood smile, which is when you get your teeth straight across. I wanted mine done straight across. Now you can get like a natural style. They have like several different styles. You can get where your edges are more rounded, where it looks more natural and you know, whatever like that, like different styles of getting your teeth done. 
but I wanted Hollywood, which is like straight across. This is like what Nicki Minaj has. Cardi B, usually like the celebrities, they get like that straight across look, which is what I was going for. So keep in mind that you don't have to get this style. You can get another style, whichever you prefer. And he's really good at shaping them in whatever style you want. So this, this procedure, I would say is almost like getting your nails done, you guys. So your teeth is like your nail bed. You cover it with acrylic, which he covers it with the resin composite um, material. And then it hardens just like this hardens. Put a UV light on it and it kind of hardens. Once it hardens, he takes like the drills just like they use on your nail just to kind of shape it. You don't feel it at all. There's no pain. He just shapes it and everything gives it a perfect shape. And then just like with your nails, he buffs it and makes it smooth. So, you know, just, just so you can kind of get an idea of what's happening. Um, as far as the color, I also got the whitest of white colors. So there's, he's going to show you a whole spectrum of uh, colors you can get. You can get white in every shade of off-white of, you know, any shade of white. If you want to kind of tone down more natural. Me, I personally, I wanted like the whitest of the white. Like I said, I wanted that Hollywood look. But you don't have to get it this white. Um, a lot of people, when they see me in person, they just say, wow, you know, your teeth look like they've always been like that. Um, they don't, they, you know, it doesn't look fake in person or anything like that, but it is really bright, which is what I wanted. So keep in mind, you don't have to get it this white. This is just what I chose. Okay, so basically the steps, you guys, of when I got it done, just quickly, because I know I'm going to have clips in here. So when I got there, the first thing was the paperwork. So um, they gave me, you know, you, you put all your, your information about, you know, just like when you go to the doctor, is this your first time visit, health issues, you know, you're filling out all your paperwork. After the paperwork was uh, filled out, um, and then, then a guy takes you back to take care of your, your financial part. So, you know, you pay up front before anything is done. Like I said, you guys, it's cash only so debit card which is like cash or actual cash dollars okay you guys so I am here the first step was actually uh -huh, uh, was actually um, filling out paperwork just basically like contact information and stuff like that so you know that was pretty cool everybody it's really really sweet and then after that was actually going over the payment information so basically you pay out your balance first and then I come into a room and then they just did my x-ray. So I met with a young lady, really sweet, that took me over to another room. We did an x-ray and then they brought me into this waiting room here. So I'm in the waiting room now and they just went over details like do's and don'ts, um, how the procedure is going to take place, like the steps of the procedure. Um, how long it lasts, what you can eat and not eat. Also makeup, you guys. So I just have on a little uh, concealer to cover like my dark spots and just a tiny bit of powder dust over. But they did ask, did I have on makeup because it can actually stain the, uh, the substance that they use to, you know, create the smile. So, you know, that's one thing you want to keep in mind. So I will keep you guys posted. And then, you know, I waited just a couple minutes and then I met with a dental hygienist. So the dental hygienist took me to like, a, a, you know, like another room and where she examined my teeth in the x-ray and she did like a deep cleaning, you guys, like a really deep cleaning because you can't get these done um, unless everything is clean. They don't want any bacteria to be underneath. So they did a really deep cleaning, put like a solution on there went all the way up and just got everything made sure there was no bacteria there was no particles on my teeth and everything like that so after the dental hygienist then um i met with the dentist who went over you know the x-ray who kind of introduced himself we kind of went over you know the style of teeth i want um and the color that i wanted and he made sure everything was clean so at that point, it was probably like, my appointment was at 9 a.m. By this point, it was like 10 a.m. or 10, 15 or something. So once they did all of that, he was like, okay, we've seen everything. You can come back at one o'clock. So I Ubered back to my hotel, took a little nap, got something to eat, and then came back at one o'clock. When I got there at one, you know, I went, he brought me straight into the room and he got started, you know, did the whole process. Um... After he was done with everything, um, you know, I looked at it, made sure I liked it and everything. And he was like, so you're going to have a follow up appointment at 11 a.m. the next day, which I knew there was going to be a follow up appointment the next day. That's why I got the hotel for two nights. 
okay you guys so i'm just waiting on my uber to go back to the hotel we're pretty much finished for today um so i'm supposed to just basically just sleep on it and see if i feel anything different with the bite or whatever i want to be adjusted any angles that i want to be different and then i have a follow-up appointment in the morning at 11 a.m so i'll keep you guys posted <laughs> Um, so I went home. I mean, I went to the, the hotel and um, I had like a little Wendy's burger. That was the closest place on between there and the hotel. I got a Wendy's burger. And when I was chewing, my back teeth didn't really connect like that. So the bite needed to be adjusted. So I noticed that that night. Um, and I noticed like a little chip in the bottom tooth, which is the whole purpose of having um, your follow up appointment. So I was like, OK, so now I kind of know what to tell him. So I got there for the follow-up appointment the next day. Okay, you guys, so I'm back at the dentist's office for the next day follow-up. Uh, I'm just here waiting in the, um, in the waiting room. Uh, there's a couple things that feels a little bit uncomfortable to me. Like, um, I just feel kind of like build up uh, um, at the back of it. That probably just needs to be shaved down and just a couple little spots that I kind of want tweaked a little bit but other than that I love it um, for the most part it's comfortable um, and I'm just I'm just excited about my new smile so hey okay. so when he examined it he realized he needed to shave the bottom teeth down a little lower so he shaved those down a, a little bit lower um, and then I was able to just, you know, chunk down more normally. Now, like I said, it does feel a little different because it's something foreign in your mouth, even though he doesn't really thin and, you know, he doesn't make them bulky or anything. It's different. So you got to get used to it. So I was chomping down. I'm like, okay, that's fine. Anything else, I'll get used to it in a week or two. And then he kind of fixed the little chip that I saw and made a couple of little more adjustments that he felt like he needed to do. And then that's it. So that was pretty much it. Um, I think there's a warranty, you guys, on them. I think the assistant told me it's like a seven year warranty or something. So in, if you get any chips or stained between now and I think five or seven years, you, you're, uh, you can go back to him and he'll fix it for you free of charge. But of course, you would have to pay for your airfare and your uh, hotel stay to get there. As far as taking care of them, you just have to use a soft toothpaste. Uh, I mean, a soft toothbrush. He tells you the Colgate toothpaste that you should use. And he also recommends one to order online to use every other day. And that's going to keep them shiny and polished looking. You still want to get your cleanings every six months. He sends you home with the care sheet in case your dentist isn't familiar with caring for composite veneers. There's a care sheet that he gives you to give to your dentist. And it has all the instructions on how the actual dentist can... Um, can polish them or you know keep them shiny or care for them or whatever like that so yeah that was it for my experience with dr price like i said i'm happy with it i i felt like i had a great experience overall i love my smile I feel like it gives me more of a glamorous more hollywood look and just more professional overall you know i had what you call i think they're called peg laterals where my side teeth were like baby teeth so the middle grew in but the sides never really grew in so they were really small and then the front two teeth were kind of like bugs bunny like rabbit teeth so i just feel like you know this is just more of a clean look more of that hollywood clean look and i absolutely love it you guys if there's anything that i left out of this um video or if you have any more questions don't hesitate to leave a comment down below or you can email me and I will definitely answer that question for you. I'll definitely have the doctor's information down in the description box. And um, that's it, you guys. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys aren't familiar with my channel, um, my name is Stone. I put out makeup and hair tutorials, usually skincare, stuff like that. So if you want to subscribe to my channel to see how I get these type of looks, hit that subscribe button. If this helped you guys out, if you were researching this and couldn't find it, give me a thumbs up for coming through for y'all. And until next time, thank you so much for rolling with Stone.